Welcome to Mass with Ish. Today I have a question on the board, and this question says: It says the roots of the equation 2 squared plus kx plus 5 squared to 0 are alpha and beta, where m is a constant. If alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to minus 1, find the value of k. Now, to solve this particular problem, all we need is our knowledge of um, sum and product of roots of a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Recall that our sum, which is given as alpha plus beta, is given as minus b over a. So recall that our minus our b is this middle term, and our middle term here is k, and our a is the first term, the equation of the first term, which is what? which is a uh, 2. So that's that. And then we know that our alpha beta, which is the product of root, is given to us as c over a. So our c is what? What is our c? 5. What is our a? Our a is 2. Our c, the last term, our a is 2. So all we need is just these two things. Once We need these two things to just solve this problem. Now let's go ahead. Let's solve. Now they are asking, they said if alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to minus 1, they say find the value of k. So let's go ahead and do that. Now recall that alpha squared plus beta squared from our identity, we know that this is also the same as alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. So we have a knowledge about this identity before because this is what you need to solve this particular problem. So alpha plus beta is given to us from our formula as what well as minus k over 2 all squared minus 2 alpha beta our alpha beta is what 5 over 2 5 over 2 can you see that so I've just plotted in everything so all we need now is to um, substitute now also recall that we say that alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to minus 1. So on this left hand side, I can put minus 1 here to replace this alpha squared plus beta squared because it's given to us. So let's um, work on that now. So have minus 1 equal to, from here, minus k squared is the same thing as k squared. 2 squared is the same thing as 4. From here, this 2, we cancel out this 2, so I'm left with 5. So if I call it like 10, so I'll be having that minus 1. If this minus 5 crosses over, becomes plus 5 equals to k squared over 4. And from here, minus 1 plus 5, minus 1 plus 5 is 4. And we're having 4 equals to k squared over 4. So if I cross multiply, I'm having k squared. So, I mean, if I put this one by one and cos multiply, this times this is k squared 4 times 4 is 16. And we know that to get k, all I need is to say plus or minus the square root of 16. Remember that this is a quadratic equation, so you always put the plus or minus sign before the root sign. So our final answer is what plus or minus 4. So this is our solution to this problem. I hope you've gotten something from this. Please remember to like, share, and to subscribe.